Over the next two Sundays, we're going to be in Romans chapter 14. And, and in this chapter, Paul does two things. First of all, he speaks about not judging each other's faith convictions. And then secondly, he talks about how the way we live out those faith convictions in front of others, we need to be considerate because the way that we go about that is going to affect those other people. Now, I want to be clear that when Paul is talking about faith convictions, he refers to them as opinions. And that's what they are. See, what we're talking about is we're talking about those non-essentials, those things, it's, it's how we live out our faith. We're not talking about doctrine, we're, and we're not talking about the theological tenets of our faith. See, Paul is going to use examples like the food we eat, as well as what day we regard as the Lord's day. And he uses these to show that these really are matters of opinion. He's not talking about uh, matters of doctrine. But then what he's gonna do in this first section is he's, he's gonna talk about how when we judge others based on these opinions, what happens is the unity of the body, the unity of the family is destroyed. So what I would like for us to consider as we go through this passage this week is how do we personally struggle with judgment? Maybe your words cut others and you're not even aware of it. Maybe your thoughts of others color your relationship with them. Maybe you feel judged and yet you're unwilling to seek reconciliation with them. You see, the picture of the church is a picture of family. It's a picture of unity. And it's the very thing that Satan is against. It's the very thing he wants to destroy. And his greatest weapon in doing that is our judgment of each other.